god, this trailer, it looks so massive in person. This sign right here, they stabbed through my sign. Alright, what's up guys? We just did a little job um, and then dumped the trailer. And right now I'm back up at our storage area where we keep our trailer and have our metal pile. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of organizing. Um, so we just have a little bit of metal in there and stuff that we're keeping. All right, what's up guys? It's Saturday. Um, we work on Saturdays a decent amount. I mean, the weekends are busy and I try not to work Sunday. We got the breakfast going, orange, some fries and hot dog stuff, whatever, some coffee. The deer, they're back. There's two babies. I, I very rarely see little bucks, but wow. Almost perfect with no backup camera. I just gotta pull up a little bit. Yeah, these guys just love me over here. But yeah, guys, this is what we did yesterday. We just took wire cutters. Um, my phone was low, so I couldn't record it. Um, but yeah, this thing's, it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's a pretty small piano, but that other one I'm sure is outrageous. Um, but yeah, got the lawnmowers we need to sell, a couple buckets of metal, um, and then we put our copper over here. So, we'll see. This is not where the money is at in junk removal, but it, it can be a nice bonus sometimes, or, you know, it pays for gas. So, yeah. All right, we're just doing a little garage clean out, just this stuff, and then a couple bags over there. Alrighty guys, we are headed to our second job for the day. Dane had to leave, but it should not be a problem. It's just a couple of pallets outside and some other stuff. But yeah, we're leaving the property now. All right guys, we just got paid. I know you guys didn't see the job or anything, but it's in a super nice part of town. Um, and it was for a repeat customer. But yeah, we got the hats in. And uh, so yeah, guys, I only charged him $100 for a third or a fourth load of my trailer, which is normally around 200 bucks. Um, and I only have a 12 foot trailer, by the way. He's gotten us so much work. He's been with us since the beginning. He was originally on the old, old crackhead cheap prices. Um, and I mean, this guy has gotten us thousands of dollars of work. He's gotten us $3,000 worth of jobs. Um, if not more, he's given us so much value. That's something we don't really do that often, but just for people like him who help us out so much. All right, guys, I'm excited. We're about to pick a trailer up come Monday. The day got too late today. Can't make it out there. It's three hours away from us, but yeah, check out all this um, copper. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just get the wood from the piano and throw it in here um, and maybe clean up. Let's get started. By the way, I only have one glove because my other glove is holding my phone so this you guys can see me. You've got to get a hold of yourself.
just flipped our little ball around from a two inch to a two and five sixteenths. Is that right? Or is it supposed to be five eighths? Um. Okay, you might be wondering, why did I steal a college hunk sign? Guys, I'm sorry. I had to play dirty. Listen, this sign right here, they stabbed through my sign. Like, they're literally so tortured to me. They hate us. They literally stabbed through my little sign. They crushed my signs. I don't know why the big guys have to do this. So I just ripped theirs out. It's just a never ending war. All right, we had to stop real quick at a gas station to use the bathroom. And then I had a couple leads come through, through the website and through text messaging. So I got to respond to them. Guys, my attention span is not liking this drive very much. I don't have a radio going. I don't, I can't play, I can't hook up my phone. All right, we're over at Ryan's farm equipment. Got this trailer. It looks so massive in person. This is going to be great for customer perception. Um, but we got a long trip home, so upgraded tires so they don't pop at the dump. Got a tarp on it, solar charging. We'll go over it when we get home. Dude, I'm so happy now. I'm not going to have to break my back anymore. What the hell is this? Is this dude stuck? All right, guys, I went to Brian's farm equipment. We'll see how good the trailer is and how long it lasts. It looks pretty good. We'll go over it in a little bit. Um, but yeah, guys, I got a three hour trip home. So just pray that I make it back safe and sound with uh, you know, nothing going wrong, not getting pulled over or anything. Look at these cows. about an hour away from home we left at 10 a.m and it was actually three hours and 30 minutes there three hours and 30 minutes back so if we didn't stop or anything like that we would have got back at five or uh five or six but we're not gonna get home till 8 p.m now um just because you know it took a little bit at the dealership and then i stopped a bunch of times to try to find a charger so all right, we got it home, guys. It looks so big. I mean, especially in person, too. That's perfect. This is going to be so good for customer perception. I'm glad it looks this large. Um, so it's only two feet longer, but it's one foot wider. So it's a third bigger. So we went from 10 yards to 15 yards. All right, guys, don't even ask me how I did that. I just literally had to back up into that tree to get it back here. But I don't want to park it where anybody can come steal it. So we're parking it next to the old truck. We're gonna sell this thing soon. We're gonna put this lock on it. These are okay, especially for a utility trailer, but we're probably just gonna have this on here for tonight and then upgrade to something um, here very soon. It has one of the automatic latches, I guess. It has its chains. And I have the breakaway system on the chain, but we'll probably change that later get a bungee this one is different so you can do it normally and then he showed me a way to see how it comes out like that every time always do all right guys it's the next day and we had a few jobs lined up for today we're not using the dump trailer yet and we'll explain why in a little bit but this is a job we did it was a recliner a big giant tv and just a couple of small things um and we did it for 180 i'm pointing to the big giant tv here but you can't really tell um and then next next we did this clean out right here um, it's just a bunch of garbage bags and really uh, just truly we love when these jobs come through really easy job It's volume based um, We had the other stuff still in the trailer So we charged a three-fourths load at three hundred and eighty dollars plus the 180 on top and then it was off camera But when we dumped our trailer with all the piano stuff in it We threw a mattress on it from a repeat customer beforehand this morning for an additional 120 so um the day total comes out to 680 
<laughs> all right guys we are headed out for the day we're all wrapped up now um, we're not using the dump trailer guys because we have to get registered with the US dot before we do anything major with it we can do use it for scrap metal or something like that all right, guys, got one more on the schedule I forgot about. Um, I thought I was done for the day, but then I remembered I got to go pick up some, a little, just a little bit of deck debris from my wife or my, my father-in-law, I guess. My window's dirty, but that's a little bit of stuff we grabbed. It really did not take long. Grabbed for my family. Maybe. All right, so let's talk about the deal, the trailer, how I financed it, how I got it, what I paid for, all that good stuff. Hey guys, forgive me if the audio gets weird in this last clip. Like the bugs are just so loud at night and it really messes up the microphone um, and what it picks up on my phone. So just keep that in mind, sorry. So we, I paid $10,845 in total. That's what the trailer cost. And I financed it for five years at a 6% interest rate. And my monthly payment is about $200. Um, so that's a great deal. The math behind it is because at the dumps around here, a lot of a lot of times I'm charged 10 to $15 for hand unloading. And then it's sometimes it can take me an hour um, to unload the trailer if it's construction debris. So... If we go to the dump and it, 10 times a month, it, it, it'll cost us an additional 300 bucks. So mathematically, it should pay for itself, right? So that's why we bought it. Um, now the deal, basically I checked out a couple loan companies. I was pre-approved. I was ready to go through with a 14% loan for 10 years. But at the last minute, basically, basically, my landlord and her son were like, no, no, don't do it. I was going to do it anyways, just because I was like, no, I'm, I'm doing this. But they were like, just finance it through us. Just finance it through us. So I was like, all right, fine. So last minute, I had three days to cancel. I canceled my loan on the last day. It was already set to go through. It was the same monthly payment, but just for 10 years, basically. Um, which, yeah, it's a bad deal. But again, if it makes sense for the business, I will do it. I don't care. Um, but... This is a far better deal. It should pay for itself. Um, and guys, a lot of people recommend paying in cash or doing it on the card. I don't know. I think the name of the game when you don't have a lot of money is stack your capital. Um, but if I had a card with a high enough limit at 0% interest, I would have definitely went that, that route. But I just didn't have long enough. Um, I actually did have a card that has a super high limit, the Amex Gold card, but <clears throat> I just didn't have long enough with 0%, so I was like, no, let me just do it this way. Um, and yeah, guys, I could have paid in cash, but then I would have had no, basically no money left over um, for business expenses and stuff like that. So I for me, this is the best option. If I decide to randomly pay it off one day, I can do that, but... I think it makes sense to stack the cash and use it for something else. Um, but yeah, guys, it's a it's a 14 footer by seven foot with four foot walls, so it's a 15 cubic yard trailer, just about, and that is super standard for the industry. Um, and if you're still with me at this three minute mark of me talking, thanks so much. We're almost over, but yeah, 15 cubic yards is a pretty standard for. Um, for a truck size or a trailer size, we used to be using a 10, 11-ish cubic yard trailer. But it, but yeah, so this thing looks huge. It'll be great for customer perception. If we want it to, we could up our prices because we're going to look so much more professional. I probably won't because my prices are just about at market value. Um, but yeah, guys, we're, we're becoming more official. I'm planning to at least put a sign on the trailer. Um... And then, yeah, like I said, we got to get registered with the U.S. DOT before we start using it commercially. Um, but, yeah, guys, so hopefully business stays on the rise and we make some more moves soon. So thanks for watching.